So we're going to go over some standard algorithm for multiplication, also some area model and some partial product. The first one, let's do a partial product instead. Uh, so normally what you would do is write a 30 times 0, 30 times 80, and 30 times 500. So here's breaking down the number. Uh, so expanded form would be 500 plus 80 plus 0. So that's the expanded form of 580. And then we're taking 30 times all those numbers. And then we're going to add them together. So 30 times 0 is 0. So we can do 3 times 8, and that's 24. And then since it's we can count the zeros, so it's going to be 2,400. And then we have 3 times 5 is 15. And then we're going to count the zeros, 1, 2, 3. So 30 times 500 is 1,500. 80 times 30 is 2,400. And then we're going to add those numbers. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 0 is 4. 5 plus 2 is 7. And 1 by itself. So the first one. So if I did the same problem, and I did a standard algorithm, what I would do is take since I would have zeros across the top if I did zero times zero times zero. So then since I'm going, to, my next step would be to add a zero to go to the 10 spot. And so I did, I'm just going to assume that one is that instead of doing the zeros across. So I went over here. So then I have three times zero, three times. So that is essentially three, 30 times zero. Next, three times eight is 24 which is essentially 30 times 80, 2,400. So I put my 400 there. I'm carrying my 2,000 in case I have some extra I need to add it over here. So then I do my 30 times my 500, which is 15,000. And then I add my 2,000 that I had left over. So my 15,000 becomes 17,000, okay? So you get the same answer, you're just breaking it down in pieces. So the next one I will do in a standard algorithm. Uh, we start here with the eight. Eight times four is 32. Carry my three. Eight times zero is zero, plus three is three. Eight times one is eight, and eight times three is 24. Since I'm going to my tens column, I'm multiplying everything by 10, so I need to add the zero. One times four is four, and then I'm going to the ones place. One times four, one times zero is zero. One times one is one. One times three is three. And then I'm gonna add these together. Two times zero is two. Four times three is seven. Eight times zero is eight. Four times one is five. Two times three is five. So I got 5,872. So next, I'm gonna do that one in the area model. Uh, so, here's the area model over here. So what I did is, I broke this down expanded form, 3,000 plus 100, and then there's nothing in the 10, so I'm just gonna to skip to the four. It's useless to put the zero in there, because zero times anything. So I'm gonna take all that 3,104 times it by the 10. I'm gonna take my 3,104 times it by the eight, and then I'm gonna add those numbers together. So it's just easier numbers for them once they're learning to uh, just to see how it's a lot easier to do three times one and get our 3,000 times 10, the same thing. Or you can do three times one is 3,000 or three, three times one is three, and then add the four zero to get 30,000. So 3,000 times 10 is 30,000. Then you have 100 times the 10. So one times one is one, and then add the three zeros. So 100 times 10 is 1,000. Four times 10 is 40. And then we go to the eight, the same thing. Eight times three is 24. So 24, then add the three zeros, or 3,000 times eight is 24,000. 100 times eight, 800. 
Or you can do one times eight is eight and add the two zeros, same thing. Eight times one is 800, four times eight is 32. So then what I did is I added the numbers across the top. So I got 30,000 plus 1,000 plus 40. So I have 3,000 plus 1,000, 31,000, 40. So I put that number up top. The next one, I have 24,000 plus 800 plus 32. So I put that across the bottom. I'm gonna add these numbers. Two plus zero is two, four plus three is seven, zero plus eight is eight, four plus one is five, two plus three is five. Now what we can do is we're gonna look at the standard algorithm I just did, and we're gonna see that the eight times the top number is our 24,832, the same thing. So if we just did it individually, it's gonna be the same thing. Then we took the 10 times to buy the 3,104. That's the top number. So that's the bottom number there. We added them all together, that's what we got. So it should be the same. And then we added those together, last up. So standard algorithm, area model, the same thing. Okay. So next one we'll do, uh, I'll do this one standard algorithm again on here and I'll show you the area model. So standard algorithm, we're gonna start with the eight. Eight times the two is 16. Carry my one. Eight times eight is 64 plus one is 65. Carry my six. Eight times four is 32. 32 plus six is 38. 3 carry my 8. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Since I'm going to my tens location, I need to add to 0. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Add six plus zero is six, five plus six is 11, carry my one, nine plus four is 13, four plus one is five, plus one is six, five plus six is four plus one is five, sorry. So 56,316. So let's look at that right next to the area model. Area model. Broke it down, expanded form. 1,000 plus 400 plus 80 plus 2. Times it by 30 plus 8. Take the 30. Times it by the 1,000. 30,000. 400. Times it by the 30. 12,000. 80 times the 30, 2,400, two times 30, 60. Now I do everything again, my 1,482 times that by the eight. 1,000 times eight is 8,000, 400 times eight, 3,200, eight times four is 32, and then you can do the two zeros. That's how I'm teaching them a class. So eight times eight is 64, one zero. Eight times two is 16. So now we have a better number sense of what we're doing. So then I took my top number, 30,000 plus 12,000 plus 2,000. That's all my thousands. So I did 2,000 plus 12,000 is 14,000. 14,000 plus 30,000 is 44,000. So I put that down right there. So then I looked at my hundreds. I only have four in the hundreds. Put that there, 60. And then, so that's it. 44,460 is my top number. Then I looked at my eight. 8,000 times 3,000, 11,000. 600 times 200 is 800. 10 times 40 is 50. And I'm a six left over. Add those together. Six plus zero is six. Six plus five is 11. Carry my one. Four plus one is five. Plus eight is 13. Carry my one. Four plus one plus one is six. Four plus one is five. Once again, I can look. This is my top number here, my 30 
times the 1,482, I got that. 44,460, which is the same as the bottom number over here. The top number over here, the eight times this, is the same as the eight times the 1,482. The equal, okay? Way to check. So, let's do a standard algorithm on this one, and I will check it with, excuse me, partial product. Seven times five is 35, carry my three. Eight times seven is 56, 56 plus three is 59. Seven times zero is zero, plus five is five. Seven times one is seven. Since I'm going to the tens, I need to add my zero. One times five, one times eight, one times zero, one times one. Add five plus zero is five, nine plus five is 14. Carry my one, six plus eight, 14. Seven plus one is eight. One, so I have 18,445. So to do that in a partial product, and then I'll put it next to the area model as well. So first we're gonna do seven, time expanded form. So seven times five, seven times 80. We don't have to do seven times zero and seven times a thousand. Then I'm gonna be 10, 10 times five, 10 times 80, and 10 times a thousand. So first, seven times five is 35, seven times 80, you can do that two ways. It's 56 and add to zero. So it's 560. 7,000 for seven times a thousand. 10 times five is 50. 10 times 80 is 800. And 10 times 100 is 1,000. So I got that. I broke it down 1,000. 85 times it by the 7, 1,000, 1, sorry, whoa, 1,085 times that by the 10, so I got them all there, so then we need to add, so 5 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 5, 3 plus 6 is 9, plus five is 14, four carry my one. And I have my hundreds are a little off here. 800 plus 500 plus 100 is 14. Eight plus six is 1400. Carry my one to my thousands. And all I have in the thousands is 7,000, so it'd be 8,000. And then I have one left over when I add. So let's look at all three of these together now. Well, let's see if we can get a closer look at them. So first we're gonna see that we have all the same answers, 18,445. And then if you look at these two, area model compared to partial product, you're gonna see seven times five, 35. Then seven times 80, 560. Seven times 1,000, 7,000. Five times 10, 500. 80 times 10, 800. And 1,000 times 10, 10,000. And then we just added those together. So you're gonna see the same numbers in all three spots, just different ways to break them down. So this is area model. We're breaking down to areas. This is partial products. We're doing the product of seven times the top and 10 times the top. 
in different spots. And then the standard algorithm where we're doing 17 times the top all together and we're adding as we go. So they're all the same way to get the same answers. Uh, a lot of the kids right now are liking the area model just because it has smaller numbers, but it's a little bit more work. And sometimes the, when you're the adding, it gets a little tough. So uh, just however they want to do them. And we need to learn all the ways right now. And then eventually we'll just practice standard algorithm once they understand them. Uh, next, I'm going to do, we'll do one more for, uh, let's do a, uh, another partial product. So we have five times expanded form. We're going to start with the six then the 30, then the 200, and then the 1,000. And then I'm gonna do the 50 times the same numbers. So you can see how much more work this way is. Five times six is 30, 150, 1,000. So if you add those together, you will get 67,980. Okay, so I just did the uh, the uh, partial product and then the area model. So let's do, I'm gonna do one more on here. Actually, that should, I'll do one more right here. Uh, let's do this standard algorithm since I think you guys get the gist of it now. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 4 is 20. Carry my 2. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 2 is 50. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 5 is 13. I'm going to add my zero for going to the tens. One times five is five. One times two is two. One times six is six. And one. Add zero plus zero, zero plus five, zero plus two, six plus three, and one plus one. So now I'm going to uh, just put all the work up there for the first six problems that we had. And then I'm going to uh, zoom out and I'm going to show you some of the area models and some of the partial, some more of the standard algorithms just so you can check. Check yours. the last ones that are all standard algorithm but you can change those in the area model as well so there's standard algorithm area model and a few partial products I'll put these other two partial products on there if you want to see those two as well so that's it good luck